Hey guys, how you doing today? We getting ready to do that uh, Italian sub we talked about. I've got some extra virgin olive oil. Oh boy. In the skillet. I'm getting ready to add some. I think I got a little too much. Let me get rid of a little bit of it. Yep, we don't need all that. Sides and all that. We don't need a fire. Okay, there we go. We're gonna add our onions and garlic in there. Okay. Uh, had a long day today, guys. I went and got my MRI on my shoulder, and I've got the results back already. I do have a torn rotator club, and I do need surgery. But I'm not going to get it until after the holidays. I think I can manage until then. Okay. Let's got some really good tomatoes. And we're going to just take and crush them with our hand, with my hands. See, you see them? So I got me a little thing here. They always, these are San Marzano. Those are the best tomatoes you can get. So, but I don't want the piece of basil that comes in there. I put my own basil. So we're gonna put some over in here. It comes with lots of basil in it. Okay, we're not gonna make a lot, I'm only making one sandwich. So we're not gonna do a lot. Wait a minute. This thing getting on my nerves, man. You don't want to turn off. I want to stir up my onions and stuff. Favorite spoon. Wait a minute. Let me stir these up a bit. Just to get them started. All right. You got them stirred up. There we go. Put it on low. I'm going to squeeze them down here in the sink so it won't splatter everywhere. You know when you crush tomatoes with your hand, they go everywhere. Just to start them to break down. We don't even need this much. We're just going to make one sandwich. I'm going to put some back. You know, I don't want enough. I'm using frozen meatballs. I'm going to get through. I feel like being here all night. Next time we'll do the meatballs from scratch, but not tonight. Still going to be very, very good. Okay. Break them down. I want them all the way broke down. I like to bite into some tomato. Okay, now I'm going to wash my hands off a little bit. I want some of that tomato sauce in there too. Okay, get some sauce. Put some sauce in there. Okay, and then we're going to head back over here. So I'll spill it. There we go. Get these in here. There we go. Get our sauce started. And everything. And then I'll just dump the rest of the can into this and put them away. Now, there we go. They smell good already. Let that sit there while I get some seasonings. Yeah, pull this in here. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about how it's going to be put away underneath. 
top for the moment. Okay. And here we go. Those away. Now, we're going to grab some dried basil and some oregano and a little dried thyme. Yep, and some red crushed pepper, of course. Dried thyme. Here it is. And some red crushed peppers. We got our thyme. Our oregano and our red crushed pepper. Okay. Let's start with the pepper. Not a lot. I don't want indigestion, but I do want some spice. Put that down. Some oregano. Okay. I gotta put these down. Cause I like to crush it in there. Okay, not a lot because I'm not a big fan of oregano. I love basil though. I always crush it and get the last little oils out of there. There we go. And some basil. Some this is time. It's already ground though. So I'm just going to sprinkle it in there. Not a lot. Okay. And, of course, basil. I do love basil. Okay. Sit in there and crush it in there. It's so easy to make good Italian tomato sauce. It, it's very easy. And then, of course, we got to put a little salt and pepper in here. And you see it? Get it back so now you can see it. Okay. Sit there while I get some salt and pepper. Okay. So we need a lot of salt. We do want to taste it. And some fresh ground pepper. I want a large brand in here. Okay. And then we're going to put our uh, meatballs in there, there we go, for about 20 minutes, and we're going to get a lot of flavor out of those into our sauce, there we go, throw it around, Meantime, we can grate some cheese and cut our bread. And then we'll put that under the broiler and let it get good and toasted and cheesy and everything. It's a big piece of tomato there. Break them down. Okay. And this will get thick as it cooks. All right, let me taste it. See what we got here. Mm. I may have just a touch of sugar. Tomatoes can be bitter. Mm. Just a pinch. Always taste and season as you go. I can add a little bit more salt as well. Okay. 
put my meatballs in. I want it to be good and seasoned. Sweet, but I don't like tart food either. That should do it. It's definitely spicy. Put this over here. Okay. Mm. And it's got enough basil. Maybe a little bit more oregano. Just a touch. We know it's there. Delicious sauce. Definitely don't need any more crushed pepper. <laughs> it's got plenty. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And then, uh -oh. put those down there. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Let it cook now with the meatballs. Grab those. Oh, boy. Good job. Green beans. We're gonna have to cook some more green beans. We a whole pot of green beans. Okay. And I got our meatballs. These are so thirsty. Thirsty a long time. Okay. Alrighty. Over there, get our meatballs out. These some good meatballs too. I don't need that many. Oh, um, let's see five. For me. Okay, I'll put an extra. I'm pretty hungry. Let me see what I eat today. I had a small little uh, drumstick that I baked last night and a piece of bread and some little coffee. And then when I got home, after I picked up Hanny, I got to show you guys Hanny. He got groomed today. He's quite handsome. <laughs> okay, I just want to be really coated well with the sauce. Put a little bit more tomato sauce. Top. We're good to go. Oh. Maybe a little water. I don't want the sauce too big. There we go. Just a little water. Let me put them on the back eye to cook them for 20 minutes. There we go. Now. They took a 
lot faster on this front eye. It's a lot bigger than the back eye. There we go. Look good to me. What y'all think? Okay. All right. There they go. Spread them out so they look good and stained in their sauce. Here's all the top. Let it work. Okay. And uh, I've been doing a little Christmas decorating. See, I got my table together. See? I got my towels on the backs of my chairs. Well, some of them on them, right? I've been doing my living room. I got to go pick up a couple of things. I got my lights on my porch. A little bit at a time, because I've been so busy. But I'm getting there. So, I'm going to sit down and grate my cheese and stuff in a minute. But you guys know me. I'm going to clean up. Where's my, oh, I know what I did, wasn't it? My spoon rest. I got it. Okay. Put that there. Good. It's looking perfect. I called my son and tell him that I got a job today. Hey, <laughs> I'll tell you guys about it. We gotta talk lab about that. Yeah. I'm so happy about that. It's something I, all I have to do is sit down and talk. We're talking about it. It's very exciting. It's something I'm very good at. Something that I put my heart into and something I do every time I go out the door. It sure is. My um, job that I retired from, guys, uh, late called me today as I was on my way to the hospital for my MRI and asked me if I would be interested in this position. I sure am. I never wanted to sit down. I'm not ready yet. So I'm so happy about that. I really am. I'm just a working person. I don't like sitting down. I've never been lazy in my life. Yeah, and my son is so happy for me. He congratulated me. I knew he would. Uh, I mean, I don't have to do anything but talk. Like I said, put my heart and soul into it. And I always do. Whatever I do, I make sure I do it to the best that I can do it. And that's nothing short of perfection. Yeah. And this is going to involve children. So... Oh boy, let me get him. I gotta get his bone and stuff. Okay. I got him bone stuff. So we can get him together. Okay. Picks up his tomato can and get rid of it. I always rinse out my cans before I throw them in the garbage. I don't want to smell it. Okay. I don't 
understand people with garbage is without tops on them. It's the garbage just exposed to the air. That's so nasty to me. I'm going to make my meatballs cook, and I'll grate my cheese and cut my bread, and I'll be back to talk to you guys. And everything. And I get ready to put it under the broil. I'll be back, and we'll finish up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.